Hello guys, welcome to Study IQ. I'm Safir. In this session, we're going to talk about securities. Okay, so we'll discuss the different types of securities. Means when I talk about securities, what are securities? All types of financial assets. So just let me write here all different types of financial assets is what we are going to discuss in this. So uh, I've seen many of you have confusion when I used to discuss about preference shares, right? An ordinary share or equity shares, debentures, convertible debentures, treasury bill, dated securities. In our previous sessions, especially when I talked about, uh, the, you know, the basal norms, there I have mentioned about preference shares, etc. And then some of you had this confusion and you have uh, asked me about this. So that's the reason why I thought I'll be covering it separately, separately in an extensive video for this. So when I talk about securities, I'll be talking mostly about the bonds and the shares. Okay. So what are bonds? What are shares? And what are the different types of bonds? What are the different types of shares is what we are going to look for. So when I talk about bonds, bonds can be of uh, government bonds, right? And then we can have the corporates bonds or the private bonds. So corporates also issue the bonds. Now, when you talk about the shares, I'll talk about different uh, two types of shares, normal ordinary share or the equity share, right? And the preference share. So guys, when I talk about preference share and ordinary share, these are two different instruments. It's not that some person got some preference over the other. No, nothing like that. Okay. If you're holding these two means these are two different entities, two different assets. In fact, these are financial assets. All securities are financial assets. So I'll just write here, ordinary share. That's the normal equity share. And then we have preference share. So those people who have the preference share, they have some preferences on, you know, claim on dividend while uh, company is getting liquidated. When you are selling the assets of the company, they'll get preference. It's not that the person who have some preference will get the preference share. Okay. So these two are two different assets, two different categories. You will understand it soon. Okay. And the, you know, the preference will matter, right? So when the company is liquidated and assets of the company is sold, when the company is going bankrupt or something in that situation, then the preference shareholder will get a preference over the normal shareholder, even in case of dividend also, in case of small profits, when you are distributing the dividend, preference shareholder will get it. Okay. So I'll be coming to that in detail. Now, when you talk about the government bonds, we have two types again. We have the short term and then we have long term, right? So the short term bonds is what? Treasury bills. So this is the treasury bills. Guys, understand it here itself then there is no point in you know reading any textbooks and that will make you confused. So I'm making it in a structured way so that you just remember this structure which I'm going to give and then it is going to be very easy. So government bonds, short-term bonds is what? Treasury bills. You have a claim on the treasury. I'll come to that. And then long-term bonds is what you call as the dated securities. Okay, dated securities. Now, when it comes to the corporates, we have uh, debentures, right? I'll talk about debentures. Okay, and then uh, for larger companies, right, then it will be high net worth company. Okay, uh, there will be commercial paper. And if it is a smaller company, there will be commercial bills. I'll talk about that. And sometimes this debenture can be converted into share. So that is what convertible debentures, etc. So we will be discussing about all these. So I just want you to have an idea about the structure. So when I talk about securities, what do you mean by securities? These are nothing but the financial assets. All types of financial assets you have are considered as securities. And mainly we talk about bonds and shares. Okay, so when, it, when we talk about bonds, government bonds are there and then corporate bonds are there. So short term and long term. Short term is treasury bills. Long term is what? Dated securities. Corporates, debentures, convertible debentures, commercial paper, commercial bill, etc. When we talk about the shares, the actual owners, their share, that's the ordinary share. And then that is the same as that of equity share. And there are some preference shares also. Okay. So we will be talking about this in this particular session. So let me talk about what are bonds. So these are negotiable or tradable securities issued against loan. So you have been issued a bond by taking some money from you. So government is issuing a bond. 
that means you are paying money for that right so government is raising fund by issuing the bonds so you are actually giving loan to the government if you are a bond holder normally government will be giving it to the financial institution so by selling the bonds government will raise money so financial institutions what they do they will be lending to government now guys there was a very important question which was asked in tulums right the question was something like this which among the following instrument by using which among the following instrument rbi compel the banks to lend to government i'm talking about rbi compel the bank to lends to government so which among the following instrument and uh, options are like crr slr etc so guys if you see slr you can manage slr in three ways either you can keep in gold or you can keep in cash or you can keep in government bonds now the problem with cash is you just keep it idle and you won't get any return so banks never prefer this you get 0% just cash keeping it there gold is superb gold is good but the problem with gold is even if you keep gold with you it is not taken on a current value current basis it is taken at a price you know constant price so you won't get much return from gold also now the rest is available with you is the bonds so government bonds you'll be getting around 6 7% interest which is comparatively better than these two so what bank prefers to meet the mandatory slr requirement bank always keep the government bonds the reason is you will be getting some better uh, you know uh, return compared to these two these are the three options available to you out of this these two are not possible for banks because return wise bonds are better than the other two so banks will maintain slr in in government bonds now bank will maintain slr in government bonds so which instrument force the bank to lend to government if slr increase bank have to keep government bonds so bank have to purchase government bonds that means bank have to lend to government so bank will lend to government government will issue the bonds so which instrument force the uh, banks to lend to government it is the slr increase in slr so i hope this is clear so bonds means uh, these are if you want you can just write a definition these are negotiable or tradable securities issued against loans and they yield interest so that is what i have told you you will be getting some return here so because of that return only banks maintain slr in terms of bonds okay now when we talk about bonds as i have told you let's talk about the government bonds we have two treasury bills and the dated securities so let's talk about the treasury bills as i have told you these are short term government bonds and these are issued for four maturities so just write short term government bonds four different maturities are there 14 days 91 days if you remember 91 days short term securities the ad hoc treasury bill i have talked about uh, this one when we discussed about the components and the structure of budget now in budgetary deficits i have discussed about this and then later it was uh, changed to ways and means advances initially there was some ad hoc treasury bills to meet the that deficit which is going to come in that 90 days right so i have discussed about that so let's not get into that now 91 days 14 days and then 182 days and then 364 days so this is this is for two weeks and this is for three months and then six months and for one year easy to remember so who is issuing this these are actually issued by rbi and who will be buying this bought by the financial institution can we buy this no these are not sold to general public so these are not issued to the general public these are issued to the financial institutions and issued by the rbi on behalf of government so rbi issue the bonds and then raise fund give it to government okay now one money will be given from where from the treasury that's why these are known as treasury bills you have a claim over the treasury upon these bonds if you hold this bond you have a claim over the treasury on the money that you have given the loan that you have given i mean the financial institution so these are treasury bills let's talk about the dated securities now so as i've told you these are medium term and long term government bonds right like for example if i talk about this kisan vikas patra national saving certificate etc these are these are issued through post offices okay and these are the two i think which is issued to the public only 
to public. These two are actually only to public and which is actually issued by the post offices. Banks also, other dated securities, banks. But these two are for public, right? These two are for public and issued by the post offices. Okay, so that's about the government and uh, government bonds, short term, treasury bills, and the dated securities. Now let's talk about the corporates. So here we will start with debentures. So if you want, you can just write one line as the definition here. These are bonds issued by corporates to the public or investor. So you are issuing, there's a bond or it's a security which is issued by the corporates to the public against long-term loans. So these are actually issued, again, any bond, as I've told you in the beginning itself, these are issued for, these are securities which are issued for loans. You are taking money, so you issue this as a security and this will yield interest also. So debentures, the difference is earlier it was government, within that short term and long term was there. This is by corporates, same corporates raise fund by issuing bond and this is like long term. Let's say 10 years like that. Okay, so debentures, if you want, just write one line. These are bonds issued by corporates to the public or investors against long term loans and they yield interest. So guys, it will be like this. If TCS is issuing a debenture, their logo, their name and everything will be there. And let's say rupee 1 lakh. Okay. And then they will mention the year, let's say 20 years. And then there will be, you know, let's say 10% interest. So 1 lakh is what you, or maybe make it as 10 lakh or whatever it is. So you hold this debenture of 1 lakh and 10% maturity is 20 years. So what you will be getting, you will be getting 10% every year. What is that return? 10,000 every year you will get. Okay, so company will pay you actually after 20 years. The 1 lakh which has been taken from you will be paid by the company after 20 years. That also you will get and you will get the interest also. And as I've told you, these are negotiable or tradable security. That means this is tradable. You can sell it in the stock exchange actually. So even before 20 years, if you want to liquidate it. So you bought the debenture by giving 1 lakh and you know this uh, uh, return and everything is there. But if you if you want money immediately and if you want to liquidate it, if you want to sell it, you can use a secondary market or a stock exchange to sell it. These are tradable securities, negotiable tradable securities, as I've mentioned in the beginning itself. Okay. So, and within debenture, again, it is the same. Just before I've mentioned about commercial paper and commercial bill. So, when it comes to commercial paper, it is the high net worth companies issuing. It will be like minimum 25 lakhs. Minimum value will be 25 lakhs and uh, it will be issued at a discount. Now, when I say issued at a discount means, see, you are issuing, let's say this is a bond. Okay, 25 lakh is the face value. It will be issued at a discount means you will be getting it something like 21 lakh or 22 lakh like that. So the diff that means upon maturity, you are supposed to get the face value. And it is issued at a discount. That means you are getting now for 20 lakh or 15 lakh or 22 lakh, whatever it is. When the demand is high, this will go high. When the demand is low, then the company will bring down the price. So you may get it for 15 lakh also. So suppose you got it at 15 lakh, then upon maturity, you are supposed to get it this face value. So that is your return. Okay. So what do you mean by issued at a discount? Less than the face value, it will be issued. So that discount is going to be your return. So when you are buying the bond, how much you are lending, it will be something like 20 lakh, but the face value, 25 lakh. So that difference is what I mean by the discount. And that discount is what actually your return. Perfect. So now commercial bill, it is a small companies. Just one minute. So commercial bill will be by the small company, less than 25 uh, lakhs, etc. Okay. So it is the same debenture only. So debenture, what is that? It's a bond issued by the corporates. No, generally long term, like 10 years and all. And it will yield interest. And these are tradable. Okay. Now, guys, why? Why they can issue the share? Then why they're issuing the debenture? In fact, you are going to start a company. Let's say if TCS is going to start a company, everybody is willing to purchase a share. Suppose you are going to start a new company. Who will be interested in purchasing the share? Nobody, right? So like a new company is coming. So people are not much interested in buying the share because share, you will get the ownership of the company to the extent you have that share. 
and there is a risk involved in that here you can get a fixed return whether the company is profit the profitable or loss making it doesn't matter you will be getting that 10% and you will be getting that uh, whatever you have paid whatever you have given as the loan here you are a credit you are you are actually a creditor so you will be getting that money you will be getting the return also whether the company is making profit or loss but if you are taking the share only if the company is making profit that to good profit if it is a small profit it will be taken by the preference shareholder i'll talk about that if it is some good profit then you will be getting the dividend so there is a risk involved and if it is a loss you will be losing also so there is a risk involved and you don't want to take that risk with the new company so that is the reason why people prefer debenture but imagine you have purchased the debenture of this company but after some time you are finding that you are getting 10% only company is growing like anything and the share is growing like anything and the profit and dividend is so high but you are just getting the 10% so you feel like i should have bought the share instead of debenture so then the company will give you an option that at the time of buying debenture there is an option to convert this debenture into share because companies also have a burden no you have paid something like 10 lakh and the company have to give it back to you with a huge interest after the maturity so company also in the beginning will give you an option that at a point of time if you feel like making it into share you can convert this to share that is what convertible debenture okay so but in that case the interest will be less like before i've told you maybe 10% you won't get that much because you are getting options here guys when you have more options when you have more flexibility your returns will be less right when you have less options it is slightly risky that's when return is more so here you are getting more options so your return will be less actually interest will be less but the good thing is that you can actually convert into debenture if the company is doing good so that's what convertible debentures that means you already got the debenture maybe a partially you can convert or fully you can convert so just write one line if you want it can be converted to share these are special type of debentures that can be partially or wholly converted into shares within a specified time period okay so it will be mentioned by the time you buy the debenture itself and the interest will be less compared to the normal debenture because you are getting more options so obviously it has to be less okay so now let's look into the shares so as i've told you we have securities bonds and shares bonds we have done government bonds and corporates okay now what is left out is that uh, mm, commercial paper commercial bill etc we have discussed right that's part of debenture only so shares is what we need to discuss so government bonds short term treasury bills long term dated securities and then corporates debentures convertible debentures high net worth company commercial paper and if not small company commercial bill okay so now the shares so shares as i have told you there are two types of share normal equity share ordinary share like when you when you buy a share of a company reliance that is a normal share what does that mean let's suppose you got uh, uh, 10% of the share that means you have 10% of the ownership of that company and you have the claim of 10% of the profit of the company so let's say the company is making let's say 10 lakh profit out of this let's say 30% you are paying as corporate income tax and let's say 7 lakh is the profit which is left out so out of this 7 lakh you have a claim of how much 70000 because you have the ownership of 10% so 7 lakh 10% of 7 lakh belong to you so the to the extent of ownership you have to the extent of share you have that much ownership you have and that much claim you have on the company company's profit as well that's the normal situation what if it is loss you are also liable for the loss okay but in case of debenture holder it doesn't matter whether the company is making profit it is not going to affect you loss also not going to affect you what you are going to get the 10% interest you have been promised okay so that's what in case of debenture holder now, what about preference share holder so if you, if you want just write one line preference shares these are securities issued by corporates which confers limited ownership rights not like ordinary shareholder or equity holder limited ownership rights to their owners and usually no voting rights but the equity holders or the ordinary shareholder they have the voting rights to the extent of ownership that they have 
If more than one percent is there, they will be called for voting and everything. Okay, to the extent of ownership they have, they have the voting, they have the claim over the profit, and everything is there. So here, usually no voting rights. But in some cases, voting rights is given. But usually there is no voting right. Okay, so they yield a fixed dividend. Fixed dividend, like in debentures, I have talked about. Fixed interest. So here, fixed dividend. That's not the case with normal shareholder. It depends on what the profit you are getting and percentage of profit is what they get. So here, there will be some kind of fixed dividend. So here, it, if there is no profit, there is no dividend. If there is profit, there will be fixed dividend, not in proportion of their shareholding, right? So if there is no profit, nothing. Small profit, they get a fixed dividend. Debenture, no profit. Also, you'll get a return. Normal shareholder. No profit, nothing you will get. Low profit, nothing you will get because preference shareholder will take it. Somewhat higher profit they will get based on the share that you have. Okay. So just write one more line. They have preference over shareholders in distribution of dividend. So when the dividend is when the profit is distributed, first they will get. Same way, if the company is liquidated, I mean, if the company is going bankrupt, then to meet the claims of others, like there will be creditors, there will be debenture holders. They are actually the creditors. They are given loans to you. They, when they are buying the bonds, debenture is a bond. When they are taking the bond, it is a loan which is given. So they are the creditor. So you have to meet the claim of the creditors first. For that, you have to sell your assets, right? So during the time of liquidation of the company or winding up of the company or while you're selling the asset, first claim go to the creditors like the banks or institutions which have given you loan or the debenture holder second claim goes to the preference shareholder last claim if something is left out that's what the ordinary shareholder will get so in case of dividend they have the preference in case of uh, liquidation also they have the preference that's why preference shareholder these two are two different entities these are not you know preferential person so somebody who's holding this share is a preferential person not like that these two are different entities. Their functions are also different, right? Their values are also different. Okay. They're both are different. So what we have mentioned is distribution of dividend. There will be preference as well as our assets of the company during winding up. They have the preference. So like if you have, if you're a normal shareholder, you will get the last preference while the liquidation of the company preference shareholder, they will get the second last. Who will get the first creditor that means those who have given loans they will get the first preference like the banks or the bond holders or the debenture holder they'll get the first preference okay after that preference shareholder after that only shareholder will get the preference i hope this is very clear to all of you there is actually there is no need to have any confusion so shareholder what they get they get the dividend like as i've told you here if the company is doing good if the company is doing great shareholder will get the dividend based on the percentage of shareholding that they have. Let's say you have 10% of the shareholding, entire 10% of profit will be given to you. But preference shareholder, there is a fixed dividend, right? Debenture holder, there is a fixed interest. There is a fixed dividend here. Their fixed interest is there. But normal shareholder, there is nothing which is fixed. If the company is doing really good, they'll get a good profit based on the percentage that they have, ownership of ownership percentage that they have so now i'll talk about this once again if there is no profit okay still if even if the company is loss or no profit loss or no profit still who will get the creditor the bond holder the debenture holder will get the interest if the company is making small profit still the creditor have to get the 10 percent return and the preference shareholder also will get that fixed dividend because there is a small profit that will be anyway going as dividend and that will they, they have the preference claim so they'll get the first claim on that dividend if good dividend is there i mean good profit is there then the creditor will get preference shareholder will get and the shareholder will get but they'll get good based on their percentage so who is having more risk ordinary shareholder because while liquidating the company they'll get the last claim they'll have the more risk they'll have the more you know profitability also if the company is doing good okay so I hope this is very clear to all of you guys. Both are different preference shareholder and ordinary shareholder. Both are different. It is not a preferential person or anything. Same way preferential issue is different and preference 
share is actually different. Okay. So that's it, guys. These are what I wanted to discuss. I'll quickly go with uh, what we have discussed actually here. Or so we talked about securities, and in that I've mentioned about bonds, and then shares, and then I've talked about government and corporates. Government short term that's a treasury bill. We have seen different maturities, and you have a claim over the treasury. Issued by RBI to the financial institutions, not to public. 14 days, 91 days, 182 days, 364 days. And these are long term, that's the dated securities. Like Kisan Vigas Patra, National Savings Certificates. These two are issued to the public by post office, others again to the banks. Now, corporates, their bonds are debentures, commercial paper, commercial bill, convertible debentures, etc. So I hope this is very clear. Shares. Ordinary share, that is something which you can directly buy from the market, uh, stock exchange. right? When you're trading, I hope most of you know about trading now, especially after this COVID situation. right? And um, uh, then there is a preference share. Both are different. Now you got the order also. That's it, guys. I hope you like the video. In case if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can comment below and consider subscribing to the channel also, guys.